nobody wants to deal with a hurricane. It's literally one of the biggest hassles a family can go through. But if all the right steps are taken, the process can be made as easy as possible. Now, the biggest step is evacuating. Unfortunately, our proximity to Houston means the traffic will always be there. However, here's what you need to know to properly keep your family safe during this stressful situation. Evacuation chaos. Hurricane Rita is a massive Category 5 hurricane over the central Gulf of Mexico. Winds are a whopping 175 miles an hour. Not only is Rita a monster storm, but she is coming on the heels of Hurricane Katrina. More than 3 million Gulf Coast residents decide to leave, prompting the largest evacuation in U.S. history. Problems quickly begin to multiply as highways become clogged with vehicles. A lot of the residents that were already in high areas evacuated before those in low-lying areas and clogged the roads or put those roadways in gridlock. Therefore, we couldn't get the people that were in the highest risk area out. Traffic was so bad that it took some drivers nearly 15 hours to travel 13 miles. Many vehicles eventually ran out of gas, leaving evacuees stranded on the highway in triple-digit heat. Without water or AC, some developed heat exhaustion. In fact, nearly 80 evacuation deaths were related to hyperthermia. 23 more occurred when a bus transporting nursing home patients caught fire on Interstate 45 near Kilmer, Texas. The overall evacuation from Rita caused more fatalities than the actual storm itself. In learning from 2005, from Katrina, and particularly from Rita for us, was how do we get those people from low-lying areas inland safely and in the quickest amount of time possible. We try to do it staged where like a Sabine Pass would leave before Port Arthur, who leaves before Mid-County, who leaves before Beaumont. I think the other concern was when things happen on the road, such as people running out of fuel, um, people not having rest areas and things like that. I think a lot of our rest areas now that TxDOT has built are pretty massive and they are along those evacuation routes. So how do you know if you must evacuate? Well, it's simple. If you live in an evacuation zone, the overall threats from a hurricane are great enough to put you and your family in serious danger. If you live in a coastal county, you're in an evacuation zone. And sometimes that can go two or three counties inland depending on uh, the category of hurricane that you're facing. Now once a mandatory evacuation is issued, it's time to get out. But if you simply believe you can take any roadway out of town, you would be mistaken. A lot of times people think, oh I can go FM to whatever back road and I can get out. And you can't because once that man mandatory comes down, that mandatory evacuation, we start shutting off roads that run east and west. And I think that causes a lot of confusion. Leaving early is the best thing you can do. That way, you avoid the serious traffic, gain more road options on your journey north, and most importantly, get out of harm's way. It took Hurricane Ike a matter of hours to wreak havoc on Orange County. But coming up after the break, we'll show you a special building that rose from the devastation. Hurricane preparedness tip number three have an evacuation plan for you and your family. Know where to go. If you have to stay at a shelter, make sure you understand the rules and regulations for evacuees. Many locations will now accept pets. Ever since the, the big hurricane seasons of 2004 and 2005, a lot of hotel chains waive their no pets requirement. You can stay with family or friends as long as they live outside the evacuation zone. Most importantly, Remember to fill up several days prior to leaving and keep an extra container of gas in your trunk. Your access to gasoline will likely be completely off limits if you wait until the last minute to fill up. Hurricane Horizons 2014, brought to you by Education First Federal Credit Union, Exigen Health and Fitness Club, Family Fun Fitness, Fast Fit, and Christus Hospital, St. Elizabeth and St. Mary.